Why, hello again! It has been quite a while since I last vlogged. I actually had every intention of vlogging last week and it just did not happen. I actually fully planned on making a specific video of me customizing my Funko Pop, which I will show you in a minute. It's not actually finished, so you might see some of that this week too, just putting the final touches on, getting it all together, that stuff. But yes, that is what I had planned for last week and I just realized I had like way too much stuff to get done before I had to leave for Ottawa, which was great by the way. I'll insert some pictures here. Um, Ottawa Comic Con was awesome and then the next day we actually went to the National Gallery and I have some pretty cool artsy shots from that as well. was a super fun weekend but I am super happy to be back getting into the swing of things. Of course my birthday sale started on Friday so I have quite a lot of stuff to get done this week, fulfilling orders, looking at commission stuff for people, all of that stuff but it's a fun busy. So here's the custom Funko I was working on and was planning on making a video on. It is a Governor Price Funko from Star Wars Rebels. Um, yeah, not quite finished, obviously not assembled yet, but yeah, the modifications are all finished. The paint job is basically finished. I just need to finish painting her rank bar and maybe just do some fine detail adjustments on that and then assemble her. Yes, I know the studio is kind of a catastrophe. I came back and just was fully into insanity in the studio. I had stuff everywhere, so I've been slowly trying to get that back, but today is mainly working on fulfilling orders that I got over the weekend, and of course I haven't been home to be able to work on any of that, so that's kind of the main plan for today, and then maybe finishing her up. I also came back and had this whole desk covered in products from taking pictures for promotional stuff. There's still stickers all over the place, but I actually got all of the paper cut prints organized in this portfolio thing, because I figured I need to have um, one on hand of all of the designs so I know specifically which cardstock color everything is. So that's what's in here. So I figured I'd just flip through and show you all. So we have the Sheikah Eye design, Barry and Wells design, the empty sheet, uh, the Raylene design, and the Salvatore design. They are the two um, of my artworks that I decided to turn into paper cut prints because they have tons of detail in the line work and stuff and they turned out really awesome for paper cutting purposes. We've got the bathhouse from Spirited Away Design. That's it in a different color, although this color is not currently available. It's just, it was a darker red and that was actually the first version that I made and then I decided to change it to more of a like traditional red color. But I like that one too, so I just kept that in there. And then we have the starboard design available in the four different colors here. And then the Draw Paint Create, which does come in a ton, ton of colors, and I just have the blue cut out right now and in the portfolio. But this one is available in a ton of colors. Yeah, that's how I'm organizing paper cut prints right now. Working well so far, nice and organized. And yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go and continue fulfilling orders to get them all shipped out. Hello everyone, it has been a couple of days since I last vlogged. I know this really I hope is not becoming a trend. It's just been kind of crazy. I've been like 
fulfilling orders, shipping things out constantly, replying to people for commission stuff, and it's just, it's been a lot. Um, especially, you know, it's not normally something I'm super hyper-focused on, it's a little more spread out than this, but it's all good, it's all fun. Um, this morning I actually printed and cut out and produced the whole bunch, like actually over 250 uh, stickers for a Pride event. Set those out, that's all done. Also went out and picked up these because I don't didn't actually have any crayons. And these are for a video that I'm going to film this afternoon. And that's kind of what I'm up to today. I'm sure you'll see some behind the scene things of filming that. And yeah, I do need to still finish that Funko. That might happen today as well. I guess we'll just see where the day takes us project-wise. The one thing with these crayons that is like slightly <laughs> bothering me is that they're like packed in like separate sets probably has to do with like this is probably like the basic set and then different like sets that so it's easy for them to package together but they're of course not in color order then. And so I was considering doing a swatch sheet for these because I'm sure I'm going to use them in other videos where swatches might be a little more important than the video I'm doing today, but I just don't know <laughs> if I should like keep them within the boxes that they're already in and swatch them that way and have the colors kind of be mis- like disorganized, I guess you could say, or at least not in color order or like figure out the color order that they actually should be in. I don't know yet. I think that's going to be a project for another day. But yeah, this is what we're working with this afternoon. There, I think I'm gonna actually use this to draw on. This is actually an extra kind of uh, not great cut on the paper I use for prints. Um, I know this one got messed up I forget what exactly it is. I think it's a lot less than 8x8 for some reason. Anyhow, I know this one's messed up, so I think I'm going to use this for the galaxy drawing and then use this for some swatches and stuff. But yeah, just thought I'd show you that. I don't think this is what I used for the um, Crayola one that I did, the last one I did, the uh, Crayola colored pencil one. I think I used Bristol board. This has a bit more texture, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but obviously the crayons are probably a lot waxier than the uh, pencil crayons are, so it hopefully shouldn't be too bad on the texture. Hopefully I can get a nice smooth color. Speaking of galaxies, I actually got this iPad case when I wasn't vlogging, but yes, it is glorious and I'm obsessed with it. It's a galaxy one. I will actually leave a link to it on Amazon if you're interested. It was actually pretty inexpensive. This one is for a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Um, I'm not actually sure if they make them smaller, but I know a lot of you guys are obsessed with galaxies like me, so I will definitely leave a link to it below. But yes, it's awesome. It has a pen holder, which I actually never realized it had. And then it opens up here like a book. Turns it on, and then it actually has a thing for it to stand up. And it can even turn like that to be in portrait mode if you want. But yes, super, super obsessed with this case. It was great when I took it to Ottawa. It's heavier duty than my white one is. It kind of protects the iPad more, so that's mainly why I got it was to travel with it. But yes, I am obsessed with it so, so much. And less than two hours later, we have a crayon galaxy. As you can see, I uh, apparently am way too hard on the crayons. At least there was only two casualties, although I'm pretty sure that there's a few that are actually cracked. Pretty good. Yep, clearly too much pressure on the crayons. But yes, this was a nightmare to blend. I haven't used crayons in like... I don't know, it must be like 15 years, I feel like. So clearly forgot the consistency of a crayon. But yep, that's what we have. And yeah, nightmare to blend. I'm not sure, like I fully intended on possibly doing more videos with these, like maybe some more realistic-y type um, 
drawings, but I don't know anymore because they're just so hard to blend. Yeah, because I did finish so early, it is not even 4 o'clock, I think I am actually going to work on finishing up the custom Funko so that she's finished. Really all I have to do is do a little few details there and then she's pretty much done other than assembling her and spraying her. <laughs> There, the paint job's all done. I think I'm actually going to leave her apart and go spray her outside, just a coating to keep the paint from chipping off and protect it from the sun, all of that stuff. And I guess I'll come back in and assemble her once the coating has dried. And here she is. I'm super happy with how she turned out. This was my first custom Funko Pop uh, figure I ever tried, and I can definitely uh, see this becoming a new thing that I start to do for different characters. I actually bought an extra Sabine because I found one yesterday, so I bought one to turn it into Season 3 Sabine, like I cosplay, so that will most likely be the next project, but yeah. I'm probably going to become obsessed with creating custom Funko Pops. Um, if you're wondering, uh, the only thing I really changed for her body, um, her body was um, a first order disguise rose, and so I cut off the different details that weren't the same. Like I basically turned the first order uniforms into the Galactic Empire uniform, so I cut off her gun, um, added the belt detail, added the rank bar, the code cylinders, got rid of the um, armband, and then her head was just some random person's head that had a very similar hairstyle, but I actually cut that too um, because she has kind of an undercut, so all of this is epoxy sculpt. Um, and so are the rank bars and the code cylinders, and yeah, any of the added details were epoxy sculpt, which worked really well. And yeah, that's the finished Governor Price Funko. Hello again, happy Thursday. I'm not really up to much today, but I'm sure you can kind of see behind me, I have two very large packages that I thought I'd show you. So yes, I, I don't wanna show too close to them because the shipping labels and stuff are on them, but this just came today. It is a 24 inch heavy duty guillotine cutter, which was kind of a birthday present to myself. So <laughs> yay for exciting gifts. <laughs> no, but that one is just not cutting it anymore. And it's been driving me insane trying to cut paper with a ruler and a rotary blade. So that is the solution to that. And in this giant one, this is the start of this year's cosplay supplies. So I'm not going to say, I think, in this video what I am doing this summer yet, but we have some black warbla down there, a giant sheet of it, and a roll of EVA foam. So I'm sure you can guess from these materials that there is some armor involved. This is the armor base material. But yes, I'm super, super excited for this year's cosplay projects, and I'm sure, like, I'm even more excited because of vlogging this year. There's going to be a ton of awesome videos coming out this summer of me just building crazy, cool swords and armor and all of that stuff. So, yeah, super excited to hopefully get working on this fairly soon. I have a sword that I'm probably going to build first, which hopefully I can start in the next uh, few weeks or so. Yeah. Um, I guess I can sort of mention this. Um, normally for cosplay, I like, normally I take basically the summer and build armor. So I normally pre-film things like way in advance. Like I will basically take all of June and pre-film all of my videos for June, July, August, and then some in September. But, this year I am actually going to try and still work on armor and film videos each week. 
So we'll see how that goes. I might need to pre-film a bit, but definitely these behind the studio vlogs will show a ton of the work that goes into my costumes and stuff. So hopefully you are all interested in armor building and garage fun times. <laughs> I think that's it for today, um, and I guess I will come back and talk to you if I get up to anything else interesting. But yeah, I'm just off running errands. I actually finished um, editing, uploading, all of that stuff the Friday's video, so I don't need to worry about any of that. And yeah, just a free type of few days if I want them, which I really don't have. I need, I mean, I need to work on um, next week's art pretty quick. Um, just so I have some extra time to do some other things, which you will see in next week's vlog. Well, I am back from errands, and I actually thought I'd show you what I picked up, because I actually picked up quite a lot of cosplay-y materials, kind of inadvertently. So first thing, we have four of these flat black primers, which for my Sabine armor, I think I went through almost 20 cans of this. So right now we have four and then two of the same primer but in white. Then this stuff I used last year too, it's just a metallic that is in a darker silver color. This one is dark steel. That's kind of mainly why that one because lots of metallic spray paints only kind of come in bright silver and that's not really the look I need. And we've got a bottle of spray foam for something. And then this bag, there's some thin of the painter's masking tape, the scotch blue stuff that I use all the time. I actually don't have any super, well this isn't super thin, but any thinner stuff, so I figured I'd pick that up. Three bottles of quick seal. This is just kind of a generic um, caulking that I use to smooth stuff out. And then some sandpaper in various thicknesses. So 400, 180, 100 for obviously sanding, smoothing down stuff, getting a super smooth and flawless finish. Yeah, just some of the basic, basic stuff I am going to need in a couple of weeks or yeah, a couple of weeks. And I think I'm actually going to end this week's Behind the Studio vlog there. Um, tomorrow I'm working outside, um, so really nothing creative is really happening then. So for my sanity, getting a little head jump on editing and stuff, I think I'm going to end it there. Next week I know I have a bunch of exciting sub projects other than my main video, so that should be pretty exciting to watch. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.